Just pull out my slice of my phone and go. Okay, so the title of my the title of my talk today, hello, yes, it's called uh, Yes, the market can crash again. Okay, yes, the market can crash again. And this is my analysis, okay, why the market can crash again. This is my 171 talk and I and I would like to thank everybody for following me for all these years. Okay, where I give talks in the most unusual places, the most unlikely places, as I do the most uh, crazy stuff. But you know what? Yeah, that's the fun of it, right? Okay, I'm not that serious a uh, YouTuber, uh, okay? Uh, disclaimer, uh, I didn't tell you to buy or sell, okay? The best, I'll tell myself what I'm doing, and you guys can decide what you want to do. How about that? Okay, uh, this is for entertainment, education, and not for advice uh, for, for stock market. Cool? All right, good, okay? This is a very important topic. A lot of people ask, uh, will the market crash again? I tell you now, category, category, yes, it can crash again. Okay, when I don't know, but I, I know it can crash again. Okay, so basically, the background of this talk is that a lot of people ask me, Mr. Lu, did I miss the boat? Wow, you know, the market has left already. Did I miss the boat? You know, I, 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 I missed the chance. The whole market is all chonging. I, uh... Okay, today I want to share with everybody what my views are around this topic. Okay, number one is that. If you look at the graphs, uh, okay, this is the NASDAQ, okay, this is the NASDAQ. Can you see this is the NASDAQ, okay? Actually, the uptick is only a small uptick only. Uh. The, 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 the stock market crash is like, wow, like that. And then it's just, it's just a very small uptick. And the best part is, tonight, the market crash, I mean, went down again. Last time, market of this volatility is very serious. Now people get numb to it. This market volatility of this amount, uh, no big deal. Everybody see it. Okay? So, not that big a deal. Not that big a deal. So, the NASDAQ went up by this one. And then the S&P 500. Oh, shut. The S&P 500. Okay? I'll try and show you S&P 500 graph. The S&P 500 graph uh, also crash, 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 crash. Then they went up a little bit. So, it's crash, 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 crash. Went up a little bit. It's just a small uptick. Don't think, okay? Don't think that is that big a deal, okay? It's not just a small uptick. And the worst part is this kind of uptick, uh, tonight, uh, already show signs that the uptick is weakening already. All right? So it, don't be too, uh, don't, don't be too concerned. So, but now someone asked, is it a blue bull trap, which is, uh, you know, uh, 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 I don't think so, but I want to highlight to everybody what are the risks ahead. Okay, what are the risks ahead? And it's uh, very important for me to share with everybody, okay? Uh, sorry guys, I know you're coming for shopping. Uh. For those who are shopping, go straight to Shopee. There's a six, uh, five, six percent discount over there for tonight. The six percent discount is limited. And I'll continue my finance talk, okay? I would like to ask, tell everybody what are the risks ahead. The risks ahead are high, okay? The risks ahead are high. Let's go to number one, okay? Very interestingly, Shanghai, Shanghai has ended their lockdown. Shanghai has ended their lockdown. It's open up right now. If you go to the YouTube videos, you, you watch a lot of people. You watch a lot of people rushing out of the barricades, you know, chong ah, like happy like a bird like that. Very, very happy, you know. So the Shanghai lockdown is, is finally over after two months. That means you know, a lot of China is now being opened up. So all the supply chain is now uh, opening up again. Isn't it a great thing? All the supply chain is now opening up again and as a result you know production can happen when supply increase the inflation goes down that's the logic right right that's the logic okay but um hmm, let's see okay so i'll show you some very interesting pictures okay I'll, if you watch my slides uh, the, a lot of pictures of people celebrating you know we're all gathered together celebrating very happy okay very happy uh, Shanghai celebrating all partying and things like that okay you guys have gone through COVID outbreaks you've gone through Omicron outbreaks guess what happens next after this kind of thing happen just guess what happened anybody what do you think will happen after the the lockdown is lifted this is Omicron you know this is not Delta variant Omicron is very, very, very viral. Yes, you're gonna again. You're absolutely right. Okay, 
Yeah, revenge. Yeah, they do revenge spending, okay? And then what happens? Then the outbreak, COVID case will go up again. And then what do they do? China, in this, in, in this incredible wisdom, okay, of zero COVID strategy, they will lock down again. That's madness, right? They just lock down the whole thing again. And then the crisis over. Everybody will, ah, yeah, you know, the kind of thing. And then the stock market will happen to the stock market. Because once it locked down again, there will be signs of inflationary pressure because supply cut down and supply cut down, inflation goes up, inflation goes up, interest rate will have to rise again, interest rate rise again, stock market goes down. That's it, right? So, uh, some people say, hey, Mr. Lu, who the hell are you, man? Okay, I granted, you know, you know economics, huh? you're a big camera on economics. What the hell do you know about health and all this? Let me tell you, let me tell you categorically, it wasn't Mr. Lu who said this. This is World Health Organization, okay? World Health Organization, uh, the chief of World Health Organization says this, zero COVID strategy is futile. Yeah, he's basically telling the Chinese, uh, my xiao, useless strategy. You lock, it's not practical. You lock down, okay, yes, okay, they kill the virus, uh, and then you open up again, the virus come in again. So therefore, all this, all this wave will happen again. The Chinese economy is so shit right now, so shit right now, that the, the amount of houses, the amount of unemployment and all this are very bad. I got a driver here who drives us around on a part-time basis. He's from China who lives here, but his whole family is in China. He tells us how dire the condition is in China. Economically, very, very bad. And Chinese is not just one of the biggest Cons uh, biggest producer of though is also one of the biggest consumer of the world. Yes. All right, guys. Okay, so uh, 264 people are here. Only 100 likes. Please give a like. Remember, one like gives me two viewers. I would like to please uh, uh, implore, you know, tolong you guys. Huh? Please help. Okay. So, um, that's uh, that's. A lot of people say, hey, 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 but inflation going down already, right? I say that myself, so inflation is going down. So therefore, maybe the stock market, you know, a good chance of, 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 of got, got brighter days ahead and things like that, right? Okay. But, and there, I think people, people are expecting, people are expecting that the Federal Reserve, okay, people are expecting that the Federal Reserve are, people are expecting that the Federal Reserve are, are going to pull back Okay, people are Federal Reserve are expecting the, the are expecting the Federal Reserve to pull back on their interest rate rise. That means maybe with this the Federal Reserve say I don't need to increase my interest rate anymore. Unfortunately, last few days the Federal Reserve have except for Jerome Powell, which is the chairman, the rest of the people start coming out and say say things say and what do they say? Listen carefully, okay? Yes. Right. Number one is uh, market expectation of the Federal Reserve pullback is not realistic. Why? Okay. Uh, <laughs> basically, uh, Federal Reserve is telling everybody, in my words, uh, fat hope, uh, you tang kuku uh, won't happen. Okay. Us pulling back, you tang kuku. Okay. Right. Federal Reserve, Mary Daly, I think he's a San Francisco Federal Reserve uh, president. He basically says this. Okay, he basically says this. Now, he backs, that means he supports rising interest rate aggressively until inflation goes down. So they want to fight federal uh, fight inflation in an aggressive way. So whatever they committed to the interest rate increase, they will not pull back. Okay, that's what the, uh, this uh, Mary Daly the, Mary Daly say. Mary Daly is the San Francisco uh, Federal Reserve president, uh, and. And the next person that says this uh, is uh, is called Brennard. Brennard is uh, the Federal Reserve uh, Federal Reserve uh, Vice Chairman. So he's the second person of, of Federal Reserve. Federal Reserve says this, uh, the, the case of September rate pause is very hard. That means stop rising, very hard. Almost tan kuku, uh, basically, right? So won't happen, uh, you know? So basically what he's saying that won't happen, okay? So with this, you know, with this, uh, this uh, all these uh, things that are okay uh with all these uh, things you know i think uh, federal reserve basically say you know interest rate won't stop rising yeah someone said it's very funny okay i got to read it okay and if i read it mr lu is leading the ideal life a digital nomad working wherever 
whenever and whatever you want while enjoying life. Uh, I don't know about that, but I do know that uh, just now I have to do the slides beside the road. I was sitting uh, at the staircase beside Cartier, the watch, you know, Cartier, and doing some slides over there because I cannot find a chair, okay? So, but that's, uh, some people like this kind of life, some people don't. Some people like sitting in an office, you know, some people like, you know, to each, yeah? you know, I could carry my backpack, you know, behind me while talking to you guys, you know, inside has a computer, very heavy. Some people like this, some people don't, I don't know, okay? Uh, some people say, "Why are you 50 years old? You still do things like that, right?" If you, you know, some people <laughs> think that it's a great life. Some people don't. Uh, yeah, I've got three jobs, you know. Yes, I want to be like Kate. Mm, okay, very good. Okay, all right, good. Okay, so that's that's basically why reason number two why I think the inflation will not stop rising. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The interest rate will not stop rising. Sorry, uh, a lot of cars inside. I'm uh, waiting for B and uh, when Kate to finish queue. Then this queue outside going up for one hour already. There's, they're still at least you know 20 minutes away. So I decided not to waste my time and talk to you guys. How about that? Okay. The the first reason the first reason was China has just opened up. My guess is within one month two months the outbreak will happen in a big way and then they have to go back lockdown again unless they have a change of policy okay second is the federal reserve have outright say i will not stop rising my interest rate okay so declare number two right this sounds not so good news for stock market and number three is the russian 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 ukraine war and let me read this to you because it's very small okay it's called Russian Ukraine war TMD. Anybody know what's TMD? Anybody called TMD? Know what's TMD? TMD? Yes. When I saw the news today, okay, when I saw the news today, it says pump prices in Singapore now, pump prices in Singapore now, costliest grade is now above four dollars a liter. You are right, okay. TMD is called Tamata. What piang it? The Petrol prices now almost four dollars. My goodness. Okay, my goodness. Okay, it's all caused by the Russian Ukraine war. Okay. I, I you know the Russian Ukraine war is a uh, one of the single biggest factor for the entire petrol price increase. Incredible petrol price increase. Because of the freaking price increase, okay, of oil, you no, know, everything else is affected. And oil increase can cause recession. A lot of the price increase, rise in prices of Goyat, rise in prices of Chanel, rise in prices of, uh, I don't know, Cartier, Parada and all this, won't cause, won't cause a recession. Eh? But price increase of oil will cause recession, okay? Can cause recession. And I and, and, and again, eh, some people say, Mr. Lu, you always have to say things. Eh? Everything I say, some big shot has said it before now. Who said the, the rise in oil prices will cause recession? Li Xian Long, our Prime Minister. Okay, Li Xian Long. Okay, so before you before you misquote me, uh, I'm quoting my Prime Minister. Okay, so the only end to this inflation caused by oil prices is an end in the war. Do you think that we are end in the war? Hey, four hundred of you, can you all each give a like, please? Okay. Every one like always produce two viewers, right? So can you please do it? I get very uh, energized when I see uh, uh, energized when I see uh, people who, who, uh, who, who more people viewing it. Okay, thank you. Right. This is from UN uh, United Nations. United Nations. United Nations says this. Okay, United Nations says this. It says, 100 days in, UN hell Russian Ukraine war will have no witness." no winners there will be no winners yes okay and and basically it says that uh, uh you know please uh, nobody will win in this war let's stop it yeah right nobody will in this war not stop it okay thank you thank you for those people that like i really appreciate it okay your like really encourages me the more viewers it encourage me so okay so bbc wrote a very good article which i read it okay this, this article basically paint out five scenarios and I want you all to tell me later which scenario do you think will pan out, okay? Because the scenario playing 
actually actually will tell you how fast this thing will go on okay scenario number one is this okay five scenarios from bbc how you play out scenario number one okay there will be a war of attrition you know what's called war of attrition they keep fighting uh, just fight and fight both sides where all many people die 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 and so on so war of attrition okay and and this thing might go on for months if not years and more or less russia or oh, with ukraine has gone on this small little war okay uh, there's this war for, for years already, okay, for years already. So this war of attrition has gone on, okay, for years. They will continue for years and the inflation will go up. So this, this scenario one, war of attrition, okay. Scenario two is this, okay, let's look at scenario two. Scenario two is Putin just suddenly say, I cease fire now, cease fire, okay, stop fire right now, okay. And he just pocket the territorial gain which he had made right now, which is quite a lot. He now occupy about twenty percent of Ukraine right now. He pockets again and said it's over, okay. And then uh, he claimed that his military operation is is complete and and just stop the war, okay. So this scenario too, Putin sees uh, sees uh, now cease fire. You think this is possible? Okay. Scenario three is called battlefield stalemate. Okay, battlefield stalemate and basically come to a conclusion and have some kind of treaty and say let's all stop the war right okay let's all stop the war something like north korea south korea like that you know they basically say uh, we all stop fighting okay we stop fighting nobody wins and we lose nobody declare anything and so on it may come to a certain deal actually the last war between finland and russia a soviet union okay many many years ago in 1939 the winter it's called a winter war ended up this way Russian lost half a million soldiers. The, the Finnish kicked the shit out of them. But after that, the Finland considered certain land and they came to an end. Those was scenario, that was scenario three, okay? They end up in a battlefield stalemate. Usually, this stalemate happens when both sides are worn off. Uh. Sien really. Then si be sien. Uh. Damn sien. You know, TL, you know, that kind of thing. Really kind of tahan. They say, I'm going to stop. Okay, just stop the war. Just stop the war, okay? Um... Nobody wins, nobody loses, it's just a stalemate, okay? You think this chance is likely? Okay? But let me just say categorically, the one that doesn't stop the war, want to stop the war is President Zelensky from Ukraine. He doesn't want to stop it because he's on the losing side. He, he stop it, he stop it, okay? He stop it, what happens? You know, he lose all the land that he's lost. He say Ukraine will not concede uh, a single bit of the land, okay? Scenario 4, which is important, all this has stock market implication. Uh. I'm, I'm not a political analyst. Uh. I'm taking out an analysis that, that other people have done and I tell you, okay? Because only these five scenarios can happen, okay? It's the, the most, <laughs> the most uh, interesting scenario. Ukraine has a victory. Ukraine has a victory. What do you think of this scenario? Ukraine has a victory, okay? In this scenario, you know, Ukraine, all its military might of of sophisticated weapon armed by the West and whack the shit out of the Russian. Okay, what's the chances of this uh, happening? Okay, what's the chances of this happening? The problem with me is that uh, Ukraine, uh, soldiers not enough and they are one of the poorest country in the world. So, uh, uh, no, I think it's a little bit tough, okay? Last one is to declare a full victory, Russia declare a full victory. They basically say, oh, I conquer this land already, yeah. okay, that's it, I win already, you know, you lose, you know, I, you know, I just, I just win already, yeah. you know, they just declare, okay, uh, this is quite likely, this is quite likely, okay, and uh, basically declare and, and so on, okay. So, five scenarios, okay, scenario, let's, let's, let's count, okay, scenario one, war of attrition, long, just keep on fighting, keep on fighting. Scenario two, Putin announced ceasefire. Scenario 3, stalemate. Scenario 4, Ukraine win. Scenario 5, Russia wins. Which one do you think is the most likely case? I want to see your number now. Okay? Can you just say? Which? Oh, my presentation is not linked properly. I'm sorry, okay? Um, give me a minute. Uh, YouTube, so sorry. Uh, 
Okay, let me see how to do this. Okay, share. And guys, give me a minute, okay? Cop is it this? Okay, copy. Um, how am I gonna do this? Okay. Okay, wait on guys. Uh, let me just. Okay. Group. Okay, I'm trying to get you the right slice, huh, guys. So sorry, I didn't know that it was not the right slice. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna see how I can pin up the slides. You you give me a minute, huh? Uh, you know what, guys? Can someone pin the right slides? Mm. Uh, let me see how to do this without ruining this. Okay. Okay. Uh, YouTube, just give me ten seconds. Uh, no, I can't. Mm, I can't. Okay. Can someone from Facebook? get the link to the slides and pin and and paste it up on a chat on my youtube okay they got the wrong one there for some reason i'm i apologize okay all right cool okay so let's go back let's go back okay let's go back most likely scenario to my opinion i think i see a lot of four five one five basically one and five uh, russia either continue to fight okay or they have a stalemate okay uh, sorry sorry continue to fight or they continue a war attrition my opinion is this okay my opinion is this this is my my bet there's going to be a war attrition they just go on fighting actually russia want to call an end i don't think zelensky want to call an end because he lost so much land, 20% of his land, he's not going to give up. He's not going to give up even one cm of his land. So he's going to continue to fight. The, as long as he continues to fight, guess what happens? Because he, con he wants to fight, he continues he wa uh, to continue to fight to gain back all his losses. The war will continue. And guess what? The oil prices will continue to be there. And worst part is all the all the wheat, all the corn, all the chicken feed, all this F E D uh, will continue to be expensive and Malaysian chicken won't come uh, won't come in. Okay? And you all cannot eat uh pai chan chi, uh, for very long. So now got a chance to eat pai chan chi, better go and eat uh, chicken rice. So therefore, therefore uh, it is very sad uh, to see this kind of scenario. Now why am I talking about all this? Okay, let me just say, look at it. China, uh, first of all, China outbreak, okay, is likely to happen again. Number two, okay, the Federal Reserve have declared very clearly that I will not stop. I will not stop increasing the interest rate. And number three is the war in Ukraine, Russia is unlikely to end soon. Combine all three together, guess what happens? I think the stock market, okay, however it increase will have okay will have a crash so as a result what we are saying is i think for those people who think that they missed the boat in the stock market you haven't there's always a chance to buy again because i think the market will low side again okay when it happen i cannot say i cannot tell but i'm pretty sure it will happen again soon okay so therefore it's okay but when it happened some of you have no guts to buy okay I will take the queue and show you I'll buy. You decide whether you want to do it or not. Understand? Okay? So these are my reasons why I think that that the, the market can crash again. Okay? It's not a bad news because market crash represents a good chance for you to buy again. Okay? And I, I haven't unload all my ammunition yet before because I believe that this wave will be quite long. So because this wave will be quite long, therefore I want to reserve my ammunition to buy over a long period of time. Okay? So I hope that, uh, I know this is a very unusual talk that I do the talk beside the road in this way, but I want to share with everybody uh, this uh, very interesting and exciting insight that I have. And and I think, uh, you know, yeah, okay? Uh, I hope you find this useful. If you find it useful, please give me a like, you know, for everybody. Okay, answer some questions right now, okay? Uh, if we 
uh, if we think that the market will still go down, should we buy inverse ETF? Inverse ETF is as good as shorting. Uh, okay? uh, I will just say this. Um, shorting a stock has infinite downside and limited upside. Okay, so I, I think it's a risk we don't need. Uh. I want to sleep well. Okay, yes. Mm. So, any other questions? Okay, Russian soldiers uh, don't want to fight uh, for Putin. Ukraine soldiers want to die for the nations. Ukraine will win. Maybe. Okay, someone just said, I just bought another tranche of SP 500. Good for you. Prepare the holy for 10, 20, 30 years. Okay, that's, uh, that's my advice to you. Um, anybody on YouTube has any comment? Okay. Fixed deposit interest rate will rise. I think so. If not already risen. Okay, I think so. It has to be. Yeah, it has to be. Okay. Uh, although fixed deposit not much. Eh? What happens if we keep going down and recession collapse after 30 years? Uh, can it happen? Yes, but uh, usually go up then like that. So you still kind of make okay. So if you compare every 30 years gap, you know, it still be okay. Uh, Mr. Lu, you very smart. No, no, no. I, I'm just an uh, absorber, a sponge of all the wisdom from a lot of uh, information sources. Okay. Uh, Mr. Lu, what's the outlook for property market? It's, it's quite divergent from stock market. Uh. I think it will still go up unless the government whack uh, another, uh, another, another thing down. What's your take on S Street in this current situation? I don't like big stocks and I don't like uh, REITs. Uh. REITs are high dividend stocks with little growth. Uh. The problem is that, you know, it can give you pittance of dividends and one whack on capital gain now, you take 10, 20 years with cover back. I don't like that. Stock market is for optimists. Pessimists will always, what? Pessimists will always find difficult stomach stock market. I think there's some truth in that statement. Will you be selling to take some profit first? I don't think there's much profit to take right now. Okay. Interest rate it will rise now in CPF. I don't think so. I don't think so. It didn't drop in market crashes. We shouldn't expect it to rise when market rises, right? So irritated. Joined the investment trend in end of 2021. Now all drop by crazy. Never seen any earnings yet. I always say you must be patient for 10, 20, 30 years. The second thing, if you have listened to my talk yesterday, the, the talk no, two days ago, I think I emphasized this thing, okay? If you want to be a stock market, you cannot have any emotions, right? You cannot have joy, anger, greed, whatsoever. You cannot, you must be in a point of have a feeling of indifference, okay? Will gold and silver price increase? I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not a fan of gold and silver because it's usually an usually a, a asset of crisis, for crisis. Nancy, I don't know why you can't hear. Can you tune up your volume? Because I think other people can hear. Um, uh, roadside impromptu talk well appreciated. Yes, okay, thank you. Um, now I only buy when there's blood, even it's my own blood. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, what new slide resources are we? I, I read widely, not, not from one source. So it's very difficult to tell you one particular source, okay? More talks like this uh, will get to see the world, yes. Uh, should we focus on ammunition of S&P 500 or NASDAQ? I do both. Uh, I, I have this practice of one two third. That means one third in S&P 500. One third in NASDAQ, two third in S&P... Uh, uh, sorry. One third in S&P 500, two thirds in... No, wrong, wrong, wrong. Let me try it. One third in NASDAQ, two third in S&P 500. Okay? Is it better to start off with capital growth at an early stage than switch to dividend? I'm not a big fan of dividend, right? Dividend play is very dangerous. Yeah, I say again, dividends are dangerous because if, when you invest in something at high dividends, it simply means that the company, instead of keeping the, the profits for keeping the profits for growth and for research and development and innovation, they they distribute the profit. They distribute a profit out to everybody. So there's no chance of growth. Yeah. Um, any particular preferred daily website platform you go to? Um, okay, one day I'll do a talk on that. What's better about holding on to stock right now instead of DCA? Uh, I hold on to stocks and whenever market crash, I just buy. Yeah. Why not one third, two third and not 50-50? Because normally NASDAQ is very volatile. 